Hey guys, Jack Cantus here, again with another Watch and Learn on my Don't Starve series on Shipwreck, teaching you how to survive in the harsh environment that is Shipwrecked. It is a rough DLC, but I believe in you guys, and I'll see you through it that I can bestow some of my knowledge on how to, you know, get through this really, really difficult DLC. Improving on the Don't Starve platform that is difficulty. I uh, will try to my best to try to help you guys and, you know, see what kind of problems you run into normally playing Shipwrecked. So, what I'm doing right now is, um, essentially harvesting the trees right now. That way I can get a bunch of wood, because, you know, it's pretty windy, uh, during the hurricane season. I also need to stock up on food and armor, because there will be a boss coming up soon. We need to get his ass away from my camp. Alright, let's just go ahead and plant a couple more of these little bad boys. Not take too much sanity loss in the dark. Go ahead and fuel the fire with these things. Just get them out of the way. Okay, so what's our little ice box looking like? Alright, so if you guys have some bananas and some ice from the hailstorms that are inevitably gonna plate Oh, excuse me, gonna plague you in this in this map, uh we're gonna go ahead and make a banana pop. And if you guys are running low on sanity, like I said, the, the bee boxes are a good idea because they give you honey. So you can go ahead and make some taffy. Let's see if it seems I have run out of room in here. I'm going to have to make another uh, chest. But I'm going to go ahead and eat this banana pop for my sanity. It also lowers your temperature, so you got to be careful about that. Yeah, let's go ahead and make some meatballs to get uh, my health up. I have nine pierogies. Good lord, that is a lot of pierogies. Alright, let's go ahead and make that chest right now. Make a little chest field right here. Alright, I like to keep it a little somewhat somewhat organized when you're dumping stuff in here. I'm going to save that later, because um, that will come in handy when we are... Uh, blah, 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 blah. When we find sewing kits after after killing the, the hounds on Shipwrecked. Uh, croc uh, crocodogs, sorry, name escaped me for a little bit. Also, you can invent stuff if your sanity is low. Go ahead and invent yourself pitchfork, get some sanity. Put that in there, use it later. Put my tools in there, actually. Also got another log suit in here, put it in there with that. Anything with a percentage, really. Put that log suit there, I'll probably make a fresh log suit, but I'll carry all three of them when I'm fighting uh, the boss. Which is no fun, by the way. I hate him. I really do. He's really obnoxious to me. Alright, let's go ahead and put our, our equipment in here. That way we have the goodies when we need them. Not much to do during the night. I try to make it somewhat interesting, but it really isn't. Alright, let's put that in there. Alright, seems to me we got a bunch of junk and a half in here. Okay. Alright, let's finish our little tree duty here. We need to get some more gold so we can get some golden tools as well so they last twice as long. And our monster jerky is completed. That way this keeps it a lot fresher. A lot more fresh during the um, during the long days when you don't have food. Monster meat spoils incredibly fast for some odd reason. So I monster jerky, it also improves the longevity of food that you make in the crock pot. Which is also a big plus because not only are you benefiting from having crockpot food you're benefiting from it lasting twice as long when um when the condition of it is a lot higher all right let's go on a hunt for gold and we also need to find some swordfish let's go ahead and make some rope real quick all right we're gonna make another spear because this one's about to kick the bucket when it comes to durability all right let's jump on our rowboat Grab some seeds while we can. Alright, I believe I was searching for uh, swordfish before, but I couldn't find any. So let's go ahead and go on the uh, right side of our map. Uh, Sealnado should be coming in a couple days. It is possible to kill him with just a spear, but it's much nicer when you have a Cutlass Supreme. That way you can really start cranking out the DPS on him. Besides, boss killed faster equals you losing less health items. And I have a lot of healing items, so uh, I'm not too concerned about him. Or dying but you know it's still possible don't get cocky guys if you're good at the game you know 
you could still die to the pretty much the dumbest spot. Ooh, a wormhole. This is the wormhole. It's like a Bermuda, a Bermuda Triangle electronic isosceles. Go ahead and get it. It's like a wormhole in shipwrecked in the water only. Oh, some ball pins over here. Hopefully they help me find. Where the hell am I? Holy shit, I'm far. Yeah, it's pretty far. Hopefully if I find a swordfish, I'll go ahead. Oh, damn. I accidentally ate the, the seaweed that I had as well. Losing even more sanity, yay! Wait, it's okay, we know how to deal with it now, right? So, what we're looking for is a swordfish, because that will make a really spicy weapon for us later on. To help deal with Silnado, and he spawns in the deep ocean, like I said in the last video, but... They're proving to be very elusive. And the wind isn't helping either, to be honest with you. So let's go ahead and look around see if we can find one. They don't hurt incredibly like towards you as the player, but they do break your boat. Which you have to watch out for. These ball pins should be able to help me. If you they're essentially like sea pigs. You feed them, they follow you around, they help a lot. They're really handy. Oh man, this is just the edge of the map at, at this point. It's nothing really to see here. Pretty boring to be honest. And Wilson will give you that um that warning. Essentially here be monsters when there's essentially nothing on the map. Well, nothing to uh explore further. This is what we're looking for, these deep deep ocean biomes. And go ahead and hammer that crate, I believe. Oh no, I can't hammer that. But I know you can fish out of there, and that's how you get um a key. Now I do have enough for a torch, but I don't want to be out here this late. These damn big waves are kicking my ass. So we're in the right location for what we need. Let's go ahead and make a social torch. It's been a while since I played Don't Starve, guys, but, you know, still got it. It's like riding a bike. All these ball pins over here. There's a lot. Oh, it's a full moon tonight. We don't even need a torch. Good thing I have my little UI here. Might need to go back and get another boat repair kit. Because I am a little bit on the breaky side. But on the full moons are a good opportunity to go to an island and loot it for potential mushrooms and such. We can stock up on those mushrooms and, you know, get vegetables and stuff for pierogies or we can get it for free sanity and health all right also wear pigs wear pigs is good because then you can get some pig skin and we can get some really some added protection i see an island over here i want to i want to explore it at night all right let's go ahead and make way here let's go ahead and pick some flowers for some sanity we're not going to need them over here Windy Island, eh? Alright, go ahead and pick up some rocks. It's gonna start raining soon. Might as well stock up on our sanity at the moment. Before it starts going really crazy. I just want to generally explore this island to see what's going on here. I have not been to this island yet, so I'm trying to see what's good. Oh, here we go. There's a good find right there. Alright, hopefully some mushrooms will start popping up. They'll turn into mush trees on a full moon. Then we can chop them down and get all the good benefits from them. That's seriously what you want to do around a... Uh, not necessarily when a boss is about to spawn, but, you know, in general. What's this? Green mush tree. So, um, essentially what you want to do is explore a little bit. Try, try to grab as many resources as possible before the boss starts spawning in that way you're prepared or you at least have a plan B I'm also looking for gold I'm not sure if I need more saplings but go ahead and pick some twigs right now what is this? oh a doi doi I found one of them well that's one we're gonna make him a pen and I'll show you why we're gonna need his ass later 
Don't turn into an evil flower. Sweet. Can't believe I actually found him. I'm gonna keep him in my inventory. I'm gonna keep him in my backpack, actually. Hopefully, you don't starve to death. And pick up the hail as well. Since we're on this island, we might go a little crazy because of the the rain, but that's no problem. We know how to solve it. I can't believe I found a doy doy. Right, let's make our ice. This is one island with doy doy. We need to find another one. Alright, now I have enough for a garland, I can just make a garland real quick. Out of that, I can stop picking flowers. The sanity gain in the morning will be decent enough to offset the rain and all the other stuff that we're going to be using. Alright, so I thoroughly explored this island. I have the seeds to feed the doy doy, so I can let him get a little hungry before feeding him. Alright, some more flint over here. Nothing too interesting on this island. We got some berry bushes. We're getting some ice. Nothing too crazy. Alright, I'm gonna start a sail back. Or sail some more explore exploration before I start getting too hungry. Alright, another ice. Alright, here's the morning. Okay, let's do two more ice and let's get the hell out of here. Oh, almost got hit by lightning. That would have been bad. Alright, let's jump back on our boat. Alright, let's jump back on here. See, can I make it back to my main island? That's my question. So here am I, and my main island is not too far from here, to be honest. So yeah, we can do this. Hopefully we don't run into any unpleasant things like that. I could be safe and take the, the, um, the wormhole back, but I don't want to. Alright. Feeling this is gonna kill me. But science, we need to. So I need to find the other doy doy. Alright, so we're getting close to my island. No big deal. No problem though. By the way guys, you can also dry seaweed. I forgot to tell you that. I don't know if I told you that in the last video or another video, but you can also dry seaweed. I'm getting pretty wet here. Well, let's get back. We need to dry off and then head back to exploring. I just don't want to get caught out with Sunitos doing seal NATO things. Alright, let's go get some of our sanity back and get dry off. So I am about to be 100% wet, and that's no good because then you're going to start freezing. How far am I? Not that far. Okay. Oopsie. I've done that in a while. Back! Lightning is brutal. Here's a little doggo fish. Cute. Also getting pretty hungry here too. Alright. Why does it keep happening to me? Hang on. There you go. Okay, see how we, we take damage, lose sanity. No big deal, right? We come back to our island, we fix ourselves up, it's no problem. Don't be worried about losing sanity or hunger or health. Just don't get to the threshold where it's actually going to kill you. So that's what you really have to watch out for. Yeah, I should really bring that one thing here.
Okay, next island is Moin. We can also make another bee's nest. We have enough silk to do it. Make another little beehive. Alright, really starting to feel the effects of the insanity right now. But, you know, there shouldn't be nightmare creatures spawning at the moment. The ones in the ocean are pretty cool. They look like the Loxus monster. Alright, almost home sweet home. Doida is getting hungry too. I need to make him a pen. That's why I was collecting the rocks. Alright, let's just jump out of here. Alright, I think we're almost there. Let's go ahead and feed our Doida. Get him nice and fed. Ninety-two percent with this. Oh my! If you guys are short on logs on your island, you can go ahead and um, you can go ahead and uh, what's it called? Uh, put your wood or your fuel, whatever you're using at the moment. You can go ahead and put it on um in your backpack, and it won't get as wet. See how my tools are nice and dry? I'm gonna keep them like that. I'll let the wetness go down. Alright, now we can start eating. Okay, let's eat that. Let's put our ice in here so it doesn't so it stops decaying. And our seaweed as well. Our normal seeds and our berries. So collecting lipids and such for that as well. Might need to make another fridge to be honest. Even though it is a solo expedition. Let's grab our berries and then I'll cut down those trees in the morning. Nice to see everything still growing. Actually, I can go ahead and uh, chop them down now. Oh, lovely sanity distortion. there I swear these bushes don't like me they don't like to be pre-planted and you can go ahead and make him a den as well and let's go ahead and refine our rocks cut zone actually do I have any cut zone to line around that way I don't waste too many resources Nah, I'm fine. Alright, so now we can start collecting more and more rocks as well. What else can we invent that we haven't invented? Nothing too much that I can invent. <laughs> Not that I can think of at the moment. Structures. Wood flooring, I guess. Make uh, some tepe. Let's go and put these berries in here as well. Let's see if we get lucky and get a banana out of one of these trees. I need more wood, anyways. Then I gotta make the little doy doy his pen. Oh, that may jam. Damn. Oh, well, we need food, anyways. Okay, let's put that in there.
Where do we want this doi doi pen? Hmm. What do I want? This is gonna be my jerky field. I want that group. Hopefully we get a banana. Not a poisonous snake. There you go. Banana for sanity. You could also make an ice maker, which is also a really easy source of ice. And some bird eggs. I'll replant the trees as we go, but let's do this. Oh, I melted. Alright, let's make it about that big. Alright, need some more cut stone. Alrighty then. Let's eat some stuff. See if the ice works as filler. And I can also make a banana pop as well. And I have an egg here. So what you need to do... Oh, goop. Fun. I believe that'll make me. Or what I think it will. Let me go check our beehive for some more honey. We made a little bit of honey. Ah. Go back in your hive. Bunch of clowns. Alright, let's see what we need for some wooden walls. Sea wall, limestone wall, wooden walls, two boards, one rope. those in handy. Oops. I really didn't mean to make them that big, actually. Well, that one at least. Let's go ahead and make it that big, I guess. Alright, then. Um, we need to make... We need to put the doi doi in here. And then we need to put the wall and get them out. Drop them here. Keep them safe for his own good. And then every time we need to go in there, you just go ahead and break the wall and then replace it. That's how you get around it in um and normal shipwrecked and such. Normally you would have to um or you could just make a gate and uh, don't starve together, but they don't have that option here. I wonder if the bird will eat this. No, he won't. I put it in the fuel. I just eat it. Get out of the way. Alright, we're also gonna make a bonano pop. Put that there. Alright. Let's see what else. No! Leave my lipids alone. Put that there. Blue mushroom will spawn in like two seconds. And I need that for the sanity. Let's go ahead and put some wood in here. Go ahead and pick that blue mushroom. And you guys can use these for health or sanity. 
not sure if I explained that, but they're really good. I need sanity at the moment, so go ahead and eat that guy. Back up to normal sanity ish. Go ahead and put that in here. Pretty much waiting for our pending doom when Seal Nato comes here. I believe I can use these in meatballs as filler. About to find out. Should also go hunting for some more uh, monster meat. That way we can make more monster jerky. Make more jerky. Jerky racks, which is pretty easy when you have a vast amount of food. We have plenty of charcoal for it. Go ahead and top ourselves off. And then we can take a snack as well. We have plenty of butterfly wings, so I'm going to go ahead and make them into butter muffins while we wait here. It's another good health food for early game. Look at him, he's so cute. When he wakes up in the morning, they, they walk around. If you find two, you can uh, bring them in the same pen and mate them. And that's essentially how you get a doi doi farm going. You can go ahead and pick one up. They just let you pick up their... They're really dumb. They eat everything, too. So if you guys have an excess amount of anything, you can just put it in there and they'll eat it. Uh, you also can slaughter them for doi doi feathers and morsels and such. But be careful when there's a low population of them. Killing all of them will summon Krampus, and it'll be bad news bears all day. It's not fun when Krampus spawns just because you kill one of those guys because you need their feathers. They also make a really good uh, sale out of their door feathers, except it's really delicate, so it breaks twice as fast, but it's really fast. Fun thing to have. But um, taking care of them is the, the big part about having a door farm, is making sure they're okay. Lightning doesn't hit them. They're not on fire. They're not getting attacked by snakes and such. That's why I put the pen here and walled it off. Normally, what other creatures in Dostar have, they can kind of take care of themselves, but Doidos will literally just lay over and let someone kill them. Oh, we got Crocodile attack too. Even better. Alright, cool. Go ahead and make my butter muffins, and then I'm going to get out of here. Try to go get my boat. Let's get our boat repair kit. And let's get another log suit just in case. We use our butter muffins as uh, healing items if we need to. Alright, we can't leave. The doi doi here as well. I think I can probably just take them. It's only day 28. Crocodile's probably gonna be like a couple of them. Just in case they don't spawn near my walls. They will aggro the walls and it's really annoying. And if you guys are having trouble with them, go ahead and kite them into um, ball pins and stuff like that. Or tall birds. They'll make the mistake of attacking those and probably get destroyed. Alright, go ahead and equip your armor guys. Let them bite you once. Not when the palm trees are in the way. Ugh. Rot. That's one down. I'm gonna go ahead and tank these. Simply because I don't wanna... Oh. Shit. Damn. I need my monster meat though. I'll go ahead and tank the damage. I need to go quickly get my backpack, get my spear. Put the log suit right there. Alright, just walk around, walk around, don't panic. Grab your spear. Clip your armor back on. And get your your rewards and some delicious crocodile. There's nothing to fear with those guys. They they aren't any challenge once you know what you're doing. Too bad they didn't drop any teeth. Unfortunate. 
<sighs> Alright, let's go ahead and use this butterfly wing as filler. I'm assuming if I use all three seaweed, I'm pretty sure it's not going to give me what I want it to. Alright, we have some charcoal. And some toys in there. We can go ahead and make another jerky rack. And jerky all four of these meats. Also, if you guys are in a pinch, charcoal is actually a pretty decent uh, fuel. Not the best, but pretty good. Go ahead and make these charcoal, uh, these jerky racks at your discretion as well. Uh, <clears throat> they do cost a lot of resources. They're pretty expensive when it comes to base resources and such. But um, they're really handy. But, you know, they only serve their purpose when you guys you know, have excess meat and such. Let's go and put our other butter muffin in there. Okay, so for tools... And loot, and put the rot in there. And put a charcoal over here. Go pick up our backpack before we forget where it's at. Even though it does tell you on the map. Pretty handy. Alright, nothing too exciting in this episode, folks. But like I said, you have to watch these guys. Some free snake loot. You guys can go ahead and make some meatballs out of this sucker. Oh no, we can make a pierogi. That we can have that nicely sacked. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. What you want to be looking for, guys? Usually they give you two, but it wasn't being nice to me today. Get some more grass from the deficit that we have from uh, making that uh, jerky rack. Never want to run out of grass. But let's go ahead and grab our boat and go fix it up too. There you go. Good as new. I didn't notice I had another axe. Go ahead and make a boat torch. Put that sucker on here. Alright, get off of here. We can come back to our base. Don't worry about the snakes. our pierogi, put that back in the fridge. Hmm. Trying to think what else to make. Put our blue cap in there. Also, if you guys didn't know, if you guys have low log suit armors and stuff like that, go ahead and dump it in there for a full flame. Even if it's like 1%, you'll still get the full benefit out of the flame. Gonna chop some more trees down. Pretty boring episode, guys, but it's more of like uh, keeping your base upkeeped during um, the season. Oh my. Come on, bite. It's keeping your base upkeep like later in the game when you start getting more and more junk. You don't know what to do with it. You need to make chests. You need to keep constantly farming the trees that grow on the island as well. So you always have wood to make your chests and such and such. If you want to make um, man-made flooring and stuff like that, that's also a good aesthetic thing for hurricane season. Because the puddles will never spawn on it. So if you're doing flooding, flooding won't occur on man-made turf. It's not that great of a strategy, but it's not that bad of a strategy. I like it. It's a little expensive. But, you know, it beats, you know, sitting in a uh, muck. But have we found beefalo in this one is my question. Do have I found manure? Found that chest over there. There's a jerky rack and a fire pit there. What? I don't think I remember finding that. Hmm. We may have to go pay that a visit before I end this. 
There's my satchel that I dropped. There's the other beehive that I need. Water grave. I don't remember finding any beefalo on this map, though. This hasn't been explored. This hasn't explored. There's so much to explore, guys. It's only the beginning. The game is too much to do in one one playthrough. But hey, keeps me in a job and keeps you guys entertained, am I right? Alright, let's go ahead and put our lock suit back down here. And we can go ahead and put our torch because we're not using it, uh, our shovel at the moment. Put it right there. Alright, see? Sanity's fine. Everything is fine. Alright, we can go ahead and make some jam, I think, with this. Or it's going to make ratatouille. Sanity's not that bad. To the point where Charlie Hands shouldn't be spawning. Hmm. There we go. I'm trying to think what else I can make at the moment. Alright. Let's go investigate that, and then I'll go ahead and... Oopsie. Didn't mean to spawn that, but let's go check that fire pit. I don't remember that from past episodes that we did that. Goodbye, poison snake. We have no time for you, sir. Time for that seed, though. Right, let's go check it out. I'm actually curious. If anything, we can harvest the, the rope from that. It's worth it. Bit of a... You know, hunt to get the other doi doi as well, and then we'll be set. We'll have a nice little doi doi farm. That's always fun. This infinite seaweed as well is really good. And I'm have a feeling it's gonna rain when we go out, because it never rains when we're on our island, but it rains when we leave. I've noticed that pattern. Those little ball pens being cute. Hey, little guys. Yeah, the rain is so annoying, and so is the wind. But alright, let's keep checking. We're almost there. I'm curious if I missed that or if I'm just not remembering it. I'll make you guys expert don't starvers in no time. Oh, hello there. I did not notice this. Swing. And double swing. Oh my. That's a lot of shells. Ow. Forgot they double tap. Those guys are a nightmare to kite, by the way. Let's go ahead and stockpile the seashells over here. The whole island seems to be full of them. By the way, I'm pretty sure those pigs never lose aggro. I've aggroed one before, and it never stopped chasing me. Days and days and days, it will not stop chasing you. So, your discretion if you guys choose to fuck with those guys. I'll come back and kill his ass in the full moon. When he's not so much of a pain. Eh, yeah, my seeds. Alright. Might as well grab some of the essentials over here. We're out and about. Back onto our boat. Almost got hit by lightning. Okay. Put the spear back on. We took some hits, but nothing that we can't survive, right, guys? Me being a little greedy with the loot. Oh 
my. I almost hit that wave. Ooh, bioluminescence. By the way, we can grab this stuff later. Ow. Grab that stuff and make a lantern. We're gonna make a pick outside of these, or at least some football helmets. Huh. What happened here? Not bad. Free stuff. Alright, we might need to farm these guys for some gold. Can we drop? Well, I'll eat my seeds. Campfire. I forgot about this junk that I left in here. Give me the gold. Silent pretty much has everything you need. Alright. I'm grab these giant stacks of stuff. We get ourselves some gold tools. Not to use these shitty ones. Wait, my fire. Wait for the fire to die down on that one. Pick up all this hail, we're at it too. Get some free ISO. There's a lot of flint over here. A lot of rocks. There's my rocks. Another piece of gold as well. See how much gold that we can carry from these little formations here. Gonna have to burn through a couple of shovels. That's a lot of gold. Nice. Not drying near that? There you go. Oh my, so much rocks. Yeah, that's another shovel that bit the dust, but it was worth it. Yeah, 
I'm no longer wet, no longer crazy. I need a couple more. There we go. Oh my god. I'm gonna have so much ice after this. Oh, some gold flew over here. There you go, that's a full stack of gold from doing that. That way we can get golden tools. And some monkeys too. Oh boy. Come on, give me that hail. I want a lot of ice. A lot of free ice that doesn't melt. Okay, 30. Oh my. Well, if this isn't worth the venture, I don't know what is. Alright, I think we're good to go back to the boat. The bottles do come in handy, guys, so don't don't chuck in the bottles around. They're very handy. Let's find these. Okay, let's find these. That way, don't have to waste that many resources on uh. I'm creating uh, sanity food versus healing food. Look at all that free ice. Sweet. Alright, we can make it back. We can make it back in time, guys. Let's make a full set of golden tools, get rid of our shitty ones, and then we're good to go. Jellyfish. You guys need to know about uh, hurricane season as well. Is that you know because it's dusk more often, the more you're gonna lose more sanity, simply because you know the time of day. You gotta be careful with that as well. That nah, shit. I got greedy for the seeds. No, those damn uh, skunk rays are gonna follow me. Alright, we're almost home. Let's go ahead and use our last boat repair kit. Start killing more bees as well. The stingers do come in handy. Oh, and ignore me, I'm way out of your aggro range. There you go. Alright, let's collect some sand just to get rid of our shovel. Collect some wood as well to get rid of our axe. And we'll pickaxe some uh, rocks when we're out there. In the wild. Alright, I know I have some ash up in here somewhere. There's some ash. Some seashells as well. Take my thermal stone. We are not freezing to death all the time. Extra bottle. Extra sand. What else we got? Extra palm fronds. Guess this is gonna go under our equipment. Alright, what else do we have? We got some rope up in here too. I'll put this with my my little consumable stuff over here. Got some bamboo. Alright, what else do we need? Or can we get rid of, I should say. 
We got pigskin too, so we can now make a football helmet finally. All right. Speaking of which, I need that for Seal NATO. Go ahead and get rid of this Garland. All right. Look at that. Full stats already. I know it's a little bit of a longer video, but I feel like I have more stuff to do. Ah, oh, shit, I'm poisoned. Oh, good thing we have plenty of these. We also have another poison gland as well. I think it's under survival. Three seaweed to coral. Some monster me to boot. What's there not to like about that? Our shovel. Get rid of our four percent X. Cool beans. Pull that down. Get them lipids before the damn seagulls get them. There's a lot of sandy pals around here. Yeah, let's stop following Stan and get some more shells for some free sanity. Alright, there we go. Put our spear here. Get rid of our pickaxe as well. Our hammer. Now we have some extra rope as well. We'll go ahead and make another jerky rack as well, too. If we really needed to. Alright, go ahead and put the sand in there. Stack that. We just need some seaweed. And we have some anti venom as well. So, that. And we need some seaweed. And voila. Anti Venom Supreme. Two of them. Perfect. Alright, now that we got rid of our pleb tools, go ahead and get our good stuff right here. There we go. Full sanity. Beautiful golden tools. There's no golden hammer. There we go. Voila, guys. There we go. We got pig some some pig helmets. We got meat. We got food. We have weapons. We have ways to stay survive. See, guys, it's not that hard. I, I highly encourage you guys to explore shipwreck and see if you guys can master the challenge of it. It's not that bad. And hopefully we can get our little uh, doy doy here, a friend. I might plant some stuff in there, keep him happy. 
But thanks for joining me on this episode. I know this is a bit of a little, a bit of a longer episode, but always fun. I am always your host, Jack Cantus. And if you guys like to see more of me, more shipwrecked, there should be a playlist um, of all the shipwrecked adventures that I've had. Uh, also, if you guys want to chat with me in real life, um, the Discord uh, link should be in the description. If you guys like to support the channel even more, there should be a donation link at the bottom in the description as well. Thanks for watching this series. I'm having a blast recording it. I'm definitely going to make more and see how far we can go. I'm pretty sure I'm going to die in the dry season, though, so don't don't, don't give your hopes up past the dry season. I'm probably going to die during there. But, alright guys, I'll go ahead and end that video here. Bye, guys.